Hi guys, welcome to me. <laughs> I wanted to sit down and do a quite informal video because you know how formal most of my videos run. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about where I've been, what's been going on, and what changes I'm making. So first and foremost, thank you for those of you who have stuck around. I've lost some followers and subscribers. Um, some after I posted my vaccine video, which if you know, you know. Um, I know that the vaccine is a quite controversial topic. So I understand that people who don't believe in that or don't want to be a part of that would no longer want to follow me. Totally understandable. But for those that have stuck around and are still here, thank you. <laughs> my goal, and it's not necessarily like a new year, new me kind of thing, but it just so happens to fall right at the end of 2021. But my goal as of today, I've already started, actually we started last night, is to get myself back into a good balance. I've been feeling, so my son is 19 months old and I was always quite a selfish person as far as my time went and what I did and as far as anything was concerned. And I've had quite the mental shift and my world got flipped upside down having a baby. And I lost myself and I know a lot of mothers feel that, a lot of fathers feel that, a lot of people taking care of a child feel that, especially a newborn on. Um, I can hear him downstairs. <laughs> it is so hard for me to disconnect from him. Like, it's 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 insane. Honestly, it feels like it's it's just pure insanity. So, as you may know, or maybe not, I will um, link some videos below on the topics I hit real quick. Um, I did have postpartum depression pretty badly for about four months after I had my son. Um, I did a whole video on. Uh, well, did I do a whole video on postpartum depression or did I do, I don't remember. <laughs> I know I did a C-section video, like a 101, that's C-section, but I don't know if I did a postpartum depression video. I think I did, but I will link whatever is relatable down below, the related links, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so... I've just felt off and not in a depressed way because I've been very happy and I've, my fiance and I, we moved our family back to the East Coast from the West Coast because I grew up on the East Coast. My family is here and being a little eight minutes away from my parents is amazing. My brother and sister-in-law are about 10 minutes away. So it's not that I've been unhappy, I just haven't felt like me and I haven't had any motivation whatsoever. I wake up, the moment I wake up, I'm woken up to a baby, right? Paul is yelling for me to wake up. All day I'm with him. I work two days a week, like super part-time um, and he just started daycare last week, which I think is part of the reason that I wanted to kickstart this because him being in daycare um, feels like takes a lot off of me um, and just him socializing really helps us like that he's with other kids and, and teachers and, and it's it's been good. He is sick already though. <laughs> he's fighting a cold. He's been in daycare two days, but anyway. So my whole um point here is I just haven't felt like me. I haven't been motivated at all. I I we we, we put him down for the night. We put him down for the night around 8 p.m. We've pushed down we've pushed back his bedtime because he's an early riser. So when we put him down around eight, he'll wake up around eight. Um, otherwise it's like seven or six, which no. <laughs> and then I have these plans of all the things I'm going to do once we put him down and I don't do any of them. I sit on the couch and I am there until two in the morning or until I fall asleep and wake up at 7am. So, yeah, I've just felt not myself. I felt frustrated. I'm touched out. I feel like I need to give more attention to other aspects of my life. For example, my fiance is very loving and patient and, and very understanding. But, um, and you know, I have been seeing a therapist and it, it does help, but it, it helps in the moment. And then the next day, I just don't do anything. You know what I mean? So it's like, it helps in the moment. And I get really excited about what we're talking about. And I'm like, this could really work. 
and then I don't do it. I don't put those things into motion. So there's something in here I need to figure out and something in here that I need to figure out. So I want to do a lot of, I want to do two videos a week and I want to do a lot of mental health stuff. I know that that is the word going around. It's like, you know, there's words every year that kind of are popular and this year it's like mental health, but it, it, I agree with how important mental health is. So that one I'm very happy about that. It, there's such a, a, a light being shine on shown, 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 shined. It's being brought to light. <laughs> Another postpartum, um, um, symptom that doesn't go away with time is forgetfulness. <laughs> I forget words like someone's paying me hourly for it. But yeah, so I haven't like, I haven't, I haven't like been anywhere, but I've also haven't been here. <laughs> so yeah, I want to document, you know, when I was going through all my eye surgeries and my eye problems and I was blind, I documented a lot on YouTube and that was my skate. That was my outlet and I need to find an outlet. I don't really have that and I need more time for me. I need more self-care time and not feel guilty about it. Mom guilt is a real thing and it fucking sucks. You know, when you have a lot of people who relate, you don't feel like you're in the wrong so much. And it feels justified and it feels like people relate to you like you're not crazy. So yeah, I'm going to just uh, record my journey of self-care and love and mental health. And I'm going to be posting things on positivity. And, and I always thought... I can't teach people these things because I'm not a professional in these things, but we can do it together and we can learn together. I don't have to hop on here and teach. I can hop on here and we can help each other go through hard times in life. Um, so I think that's kind of what I'm realizing is that I don't need to be a teacher, a voice of reason, or someone who gives advice. I can come on here and we can all help each other get through certain things. I've I've been on some diabetes apps that help me realize that I am not alone. And I used to always think that that's so corny. Like people say, I thought I was alone, but you realize the shit people go through and that you go through the same things. And there are diabetics out there who are talking about how awful their day was because their blood sugar was 500. And like, it's just so relatable. And I can't believe it took me so long to like get out there into like these communities, you know? So... Yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and this is like the video, right? Because it's either one day or day one, like you pick. Yeah, we did, my fiance and I, we did yoga and meditation last night and we did, um, I want to learn Spanish. So we did half an hour on Duolingo each and we went to bed by 11, not 2 a.m. And I woke up at 6.45, took a shower did my um my gratitude journal and I did the five by fifty five. If you don't know what that is, I will link my Instagram below. It's um my most recent post is about that if you're watching this when it comes out. If not, it's a post from December twentieth. Yeah, come with me. Let's fix ourselves together. <laughs> And I feel like this is a wonderful platform and I have so much positivity on this channel. Not my keto breakfast video. <laughs> there's no positivity there. Just kidding. There's positivity there, but that was my most hated video. But also my most watched, 1.5 million. <laughs> I will be doing recipes too because I need to get back. I think, I think a big part of why I'm feeling off too is because my diet is off. My blood sugars are kind of up and down. My A1C is 6.2, which I was surprised at, but I just feel like everything's kind of bleh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's, let's work on some shit. So this is like the, you know, clap starts here, action, um, the video that, that is going to start it all. That's going to refresh everything and get, get us back to... A really really happy place so thank you for being here with me and i will see you guys in the next video